Welcome back to Purse First Impressions. My name is Bob the Drag Queen. I'm looking like someone's uncle today, but honestly, it's a sir. <laughs> it's given. <laughs> I am here with uh, the beautiful, the talented, uh, the wonderful Miss Dahlia Sin. Um, but before we get started, please, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. In fact, comment right now below. Tell me, do you think Jasmine Kennedy talks too much? I don't. I think her talking is amazing. You sound off below. How are you today? Bitch, uh, I'm here in my New York apartment um, and ready for this fucking show, bitch. I'm ready to read these bitches. <laughs> and today we're talking about the season that never ends of RuPaul's Drag Race. It is episode nine. I just want to point this out to the listeners and the people watching at home. <laughs> By episode nine on my season, and this is not me being like, I had already won three challenges. And Girl. the very next episode, I won RuPaul's Drag Race. If this was my season, <laughs> next week, I would win Drag Race. Oh, my God. Season Maybe, nine yeah. was our top four. But you had nine Isn't episodes? Isn't that wild? You had nine episodes. We had nine episodes. Yes. No, we had 10. Technically okay, 10. Okay. We had nine in studio. Mm -hmm. And then 10th was the finale. Okay. So that is, that is so wild to me. Girl, the girls, uh, it's getting older, baby. <laughs> I'm, let's I'm, get into the episode before I drop get, before I lose my mind. All right. So Jasmine it. Kennedy feels bad about sending home Carrie Colby. So ju just just last week mm -hmm. at the end of the episode, Jasmine Kennedy has sent home uh, the wonderfully talented jump rope goddess, uh, trans icon, the Thanos <laughs> of the Thanos of the trans community, Miss mm -hmm. Carrie Colby. I um, mean, she's really emotional about it. Mm -hmm. You know. How do you I mean, feel about that? I mean, as she should, she should be emotional. I mean, the, she probably thought she was going to make it to the end. I mean, I am super sad about her leaving because um, she is one of my closest sisters. I've known her for like almost five years now. Um, when I moved to LA, she was probably one of my closest girls out there. So seeing her go home was like very sad, but I'm like, girl, it's time to go, baby. Also, Jasmine and Deja have not won a single challenge yet. Um, mm -hmm. and do you think, do you think it is episode nine? Oh my God. Do you think they can still win? If you have not won a challenge by, by the way, this episode is done. They still didn't win. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert. They're going into episode 10 with zero challenge wins. Can they right. win RuPaul's Drag Race? No. <laughs> T, right? I don't, think, T. I don't think so. I, they, they can win a challenge. Win Drag Race? Probably not. Yeah, it's too late. You, you have to, girl, it's, it, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a, a, like a girl that has one that hasn't won at least two, maybe three, mm -hmm. at least two. I'm sure two, because I'm, I'm sure there's been yeah, winners I, with two. I think Sa Sasha won two. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, at least two. two, they're not, I, I don't see it for them. So, so <laughs> they're, they're doing this mini challenge where they do the paparazzi thing, which, um, honestly it's, it's kind of cute. I don't. It's whatever the quick, yeah. the quick, the mini challenges or whatever. It's not really funny. And then we've seen, like, we've seen this one before and yeah. um, Willow pill ends up winning this mini challenge. Right. So Willow pill chooses on her team. She chooses Deja sky, mm -hmm. lady Camden and Angeria Paris, Michael uh, Dupree, Balenciaga, the house down <laughs> boots, but you can call her Angie. And then the other team is um, Bosco, Jasmine, Georges and diabetes. And as, and they're, now, to be fair, Diabetti did not confirm this, but the right. other people are assuming that Diabetti <laughs> is annoyed with her team, even though Diabetti never. Diabetti did say, however, that that Jasmine Kennedy is an energy vampire, which Maybe. I'm assuming she means she she sucks the energy out of the room. And I don't know. Do you know you know Jasmine Kennedy? Because y'all y'all do drag in New York City, right? Right. right. Uh, I don't think Jasmine. Uh, maybe this is just her on TV. Um, mm -hmm. But Jasmine. Uh, she does talk a lot, but that's any queen. I don't know what queen that doesn't talk a lot. Like, but Jasmine. Well, you I were in a drag house with Candy Muse, so there's no such thing as you don't even. You're like, it doesn't seem like that much to me. <laughs> Baby, I mean, bro, I mean, we all talk a lot, bitch. We the house of mouth, bitch. So, <laughs> but yeah, I don't. I didn't see uh, Jasmine is definitely talks less in person, and I don't see, I don't see the girls. Yeah, you know. I don't. I wouldn't have called her a v energy vampire. I like Jasmine's energy. I mean, she's right, right. she's young. She's on her uh, her favorite show, probably. She's having fun. Yeah, I I'm like, I honestly, talk, girl, and it's, maybe you guys I, aren't talking enough. 
Right. And I think it's actually giving Jasmine a complex. So now Jasmine mm-hmm. is intentionally being quiet. And I'm like, girl, yes. do not do not dampen your light so that people around you can be more comfortable. They need to rise to the occasion. They need to figure out how to do what you're doing. Do right. not let other people make you feel bad about having fun. That's wild to me. No, I almost feel bad for her because literally even when uh, Daya walks over to her when she's talking to Rue and then she like. She's like, she's like the stepchild or like the da- daughter that I just want to shove her head into the ground or something like that. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm like, this I'm is. Like, and also, like, Diabetes is like her. nine. And Diabetes is like nine feet tall. She's like this big right. bully bitch, like standing, like, like standing over. <laughs> <laughs> and she's right next to Georges, which makes her look even taller. Even taller. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it's, it's a little cringy when uh, Daya goes for her, but I'm like, sh- girl, just live it. Like, start talking too much, bitch. I right. Love it. In this, I feel like um, Deja Sky is a great mm-hmm. host. She did a I very do. good job. I think that the whole panel was great. This, in my opinion, maybe this is because obviously because I'm a podcaster, but right. this this is honestly the easiest challenge in the history of Drag Race. You just have to be yourself and yeah. be honest. I do this panel two to three times a week, sitting right here yeah. in this room talking to someone. You know, baby. No, I thought this was uh, I thought this was a really good one. I don't. Um, some of the girls were like really nervous to do this one, but I was like, you're literally just being yourself on stage. Yeah, like, you're just talking like, and then you're talking with the other girls like it's a regular conversation. So you don't have to like really remember anything. You don't have to run remember <laughs> lines. Like you're just talking like yourself. So well, it doesn't make you nervous, Dolly, because you maybe you don't have anything to hide. But some people don't want people to know the real them. Some people okay, are T. still learning who they are. They're, or they don't want people to know that they're, uh, you know, certain they're struggle. You've met people who are very guarded with their personalities, even if it's okay. not like a struggle. They, they just they just don't want people to know the real them, which is just has never been me. I'm 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 Jasmine uh-huh. Kennedy. I talk too much. What do you think about Bosco? I thought Bosco was amazing. I thought right? um, I knew she was going to do good in it. Um, I thought she did like even better than I thought she was even going to do. I thought she was going to do great. And she did better than that. so. Um, and she won, ended up winning, didn't she? So yeah, Bosco has been consistently um pretty great when it comes to like writing her own stuff, doing her own yeah. things. She's yeah. very funny. She really did a really good job on this panel. Yeah. Um, and I mean, hilarious. Like, like Deja did a good job, but then Bosco took it to this different level. It was like it was it was hyper funny. Whereas right. Deja was like, that's pretty funny. And Bosco was like, oh, that I'm actually I would laugh out loud when she said, maybe she's born for it. I said, maybe she's born with it. Maybe she's born for this. Give it up for <laughs> Georgia's. Which also that's 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 RuPaul's new thing. You are born to do this. She told um she told Bosco this episode, you were born to host panels <laughs> at DragCon. She literally said you were born for this. Like, did like, she say that something to Georgia too? You were born for this. She told she Georgia. To she, she told Georgia she was born for drag, uh-huh. and she told Bosco that she was born to host panels. <laughs> Which I'd have been like, week. I'd have been like, mm, that feels like, like I mean, I, I appreciate the compliment, <laughs> but this bitch got told she was born to do drag, and I got told I was born to work at DragCon. <laughs> bitch, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> um. So I want to go ahead and um, I, I want to go ahead and t- talk about a couple of their looks on the panel as well. The, the right. look that I love the most on the panel, I will say, was actually Diabetes look. Diabetes looked really good on that panel. She was wearing that yellow, uh huh, uh-huh, with the mullet, with right? the that with that like it was with the, it was either, it was either yellow or green. I'm colorblind, so I can't tell the, the difference between the two. But yeah, it, it was yeah. it was neon, whichever yeah, it was one it was. Neon yellow. And the hair matched perfectly and it had shoulder pads. I actually wish that she had wore that shoulder pad look versus the one she wore on the runway. Baby, that's what I was thinking too. But I think she was thinking like, these are really big. So mm. I don't want to get judged for wearing because they were still a little kind of like, you know. Yeah, they were like a little spike she had. She was wearing yeah, a, yeah. A, scrunch, a scrunch dress with a mm-hmm. bolero with spiky shoulder with this really fierce mullet. She looked so good. She looked hell. really, really good. I love that outfit. I also like uh, Bosco's outfit and the uh, episode. That was too. great too. Yeah. Now listen, we stand a talkative queen, but what was Jasmine Kennedy wearing in the panel? <laughs> Baby, you know who she looked like to me? She looked like that one... Spanish singer, that old man, Walter Mercado or something, whatever his name is. Walter she Mercado. Looked, no, he's not she, a singer. Walter Mercado was uh was a psychic. Yeah, oh psychic, baby, not singer, whatever. Girl, you know, I'm not Latina, <laughs> well, so getting your getting your Latinx cards. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get okay. into these looks. Okay. So first we're gonna talk about the judges' looks. 
Uh, I'm going to start off. I don't want really to talk about the guy's looks. Yeah. It's whatever. Um, but fucking Nicole Byer looks so beautiful. Maybe. I cannot get over how <laughs> fucking stunning Nicole Byer looks. I think she looks amazing, but I'm, I literally think that she is literally giving candy. <laughs> like it, oh she, my god she literally has her hair on that candy wore for the ba- the bags uh child <laughs> wait can we get a side by side on the screen this is literally candy's hair and it was also <laughs> olivia lux's hair it is the candy yeah, olivia, olivia lux, lux hair uh-huh. they're probably all from um from uh the same person <laughs> well, it's probably it's probably all ever scissor hair because you know it probably you know, is um Nicole Byer uses the same people we use. She uses okay. um her her stylist is the same one as a uh, Simone stylist. Okay. Oh, come on, Simone, what's your stylist, baby? Okay. The ha- House of House of Avalon styles styles Nicole Byer. Oh, oh. Okay. Come on, House of Avalon. No, I and, I mean And we have confirmation Edward Scissorhands did actually do Nicole Byer's hair. <laughs> and Nicole said, it's mine, you stupid bitch. Um, I think RuPaul looks pretty good. This is a pretty standard RuPaul dress, but I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I say. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it? What do you not like about it? Um, I like the color. Okay. I like the color. I just don't like the, um, the cut of the sleeve going up like right here on her. Like, I love when RuPaul gives like, you know, the one shoulder because that's her favorite thing. The uh-huh. one shoulder, something puffy on the slide. But I do not like this, like, I don't really like it on anybody, to be honest, where it's like this weird cut where it starts right here and then it just opens up the chest. Unless you have, like, you know, actual cleavage, I think that is, like, I don't know. Well, I just, RuPaul, I'm not feeling RuPaul like is able, RuPaul has been able to pull the titty meat up. Have you ever seen RuPaul sometimes? <laughs> she, like, she got titties. Is she, you ever okay, seen that sometimes? True. She does. I, it, it, it literally does. We're going to talk about Deja Sky. Let okay. me say right now, this is the best look of the night. If I, honestly... I don't even know how the other girls felt confident when they saw Deja pull this out. It, I love this. It is so campy. It is perfect. When I hear shoulder pads, mm. I'm with RuPaul. I expected everyone to look like this. This no. is how I thought everyone was going to look. You no, know, I thought she looked, I think this was her best look by far on the whole season. I love. True. I think she, um, especially, um, you know, coming in as a big girl, I think she, like the proportions are perfect. Like that ass, like I think she made it bigger their pads are big but they're not that big and i think mm-hmm. she like did the proportions like perfect all right what, what do you think about lady camden uh, she's, she's a nutcracker i l- I mean, I'll go first. So yeah, why you why you develop your thoughts? Yeah, go ahead. The wig looks the wig looks frazzled because a white wig is really a white wig is really hard to not make it look like yeah like 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 a, like a Q tip. Like it's, it's not really, really hard yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to make it really sculpted because you can't do any like loose hair. In my opinion, when it comes to white wigs, mm-hmm. and this is baby, this is not. <laughs> okay, this is just a red gown with epaulets on it. Right, right, right. That's really all it is. Like it's not. It's it's just a red turtleneck gown with epaulets on it. No, yeah, I, I when she okay when she walked out and she had the the hat the hat on, I actually liked it. And then when she took it off, I thought the hair was. If she would have had like a updo that was like kind of sculpted, like going down yeah. like this, maybe I think it would have been like a little bit better. But like the hair just threw me off. It was it became Christmas when she took the uh, the um <clears throat> the little whatever you want to call it off. Yeah, um, let's go into Willow Pill. Uh, okay. Outside of the challenge, this is a great look. Yeah. In the context of shoulder pads, mm-hmm. it's not enough. Yeah, I think, I think out of uh, out of all of looks, this is probably like one of my favorites, but not for the challenge because, like, girl, there she walked out. I was like, "Where's the shoulder pads, baby?" Like, right? If there's a category that is called shoulder pads, they clearly want you to come in with some big ass shoulder pads, baby. So they want you I, to look like Deja Sky. <laughs> they want you to look like Deja Sky. If she would have came out with shoulders like this far out, baby, and then like, cause her her waist is going in, and I love that, even though she didn't pad. And mm-hmm. if she would have just had the shoulders going like this, the outfit would have been amazing. <laughs> Let's go on to uh, Angeria Van Paris, Michaels Dupree, Balenciaga, the house down boots. But of course, we can always call her just Angie. Angie. Um, you know, I I don't like this look. <laughs> I actually hate it. 
Yeah, and I love Houndstooth. And I mean, this is why I love Houndstooth. But I this this is it's very what the wild things are, but not fierce. You know, and it looks like her chaps look from last week. Was it last week that the chaps, or was that the week before? I think it was week before. Okay, but yeah, the, I know it, you, the it, gold one. It looks a lot like the chaps look. And I didn't like that one. Well, either. she made all of her own look, so she has her own perspective, which I agree with you. But right. that's why maybe you need to reach out to other people, you know? No, yeah, I just don't. I don't get any. I don't get the whole outfit. And she was like, "I'm going to do a club kid look," and I'm like, "All the girls who want to do something kooky, cra- uh, you know, different, they always want to call it club kid." But um, I don't. Yeah. Care. Even when though the real tea is with Angeria, though, so. Oh, uh, me too. I love Nigeria, but this is not it. I mean, Willow Pill looked more club kid than Nigeria did. No, yeah, Full literally. <laughs> but also, I don't like how her makeup is like her eyebrow goes down at the. It, 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 it's a little odd for oh me. Oh my god, I'm zooming out. I didn't even notice that on the runway. Maybe she. Yeah, I mean, it was obviously it's an intentional choice, but I just don't like it. Maybe Bosco know? painted her. Maybe Bosco's <laughs> little wacky, kooky, wacky eyebrows. Right. Speaking of Bosco, let's move on to the devil herself, right. Miss Bosco. Okay. I agree. With, I agree with, with Michelle. This this look is really plain. It, I don't, part of me is like, baby, we're 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 on the main stage uh-huh. of RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm like, pretty sure she knew going out. She was like, I know I did good in the challenge, baby. So I'm safe mm-hmm. regardless. So yeah. I'm just gonna, I think she was probably had another outfit that was like underneath this. And she was like, I'm going to save this for later because it's, but when she packed this look, mm-hmm. she, she didn't know that she was going to do well in this week's challenge. Okay. True. Like you can't, That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it, she really is out here in a bra panties and a little corselet with a raincoat on. And like, she really is. And I'm like, <laughs> she, honestly, I, you better, it do take nerve. It, it, it do take nerve. Uh, I mean, I love the coat. That's about it, baby. And the hair is cute. The glasses, but that's it. Let's go on to Georgia's. Georgia's. Okay. I, as soon as she walked out, I was like, those are not shoulder pads. That's a puff sleeve. <laughs> My first thought was those are not shoulder pads. That is a puff sleeve. The same. And I'm glad that Michelle said something about it. Well, you knew Michelle was going to say something about it, baby. If, if there was one person to say something, Michelle was definitely going to say it. But other than that, I think she looks amazing. I thought they were going to let her slide like chap week and be like, because they didn't say anything about that not being chopped. So I thought they were going to let it slide yeah. again. But I think she looks amazing nonetheless, though, because the hair. She does look good. Yeah, the hair. And I also really like the outfit. The outfit is, I'd wear that. It's very Selena. What, what's up with, um? does, does George just not wear nails? <gasps> oh, my God. I didn't even notice that. Oof, baby. And she didn't wear like, uh, earrings in the last one. In the, uh, the, um, the challenge. She didn't wear earrings? The whole group didn't wear earrings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah i was kind of like not not right now all right let's go on to jasmine kennedy jasmine kennedy is always so close mm. she's always like this close <laughs> but it's like just maybe switch up one or two more things she was like i'm gonna show them that i am i can do simplicity mama it is a lime green jumpsuit <laughs> with, with <laughs> she's like I'm simple. You are in, a, in an electric green jumpsuit with mesh gloves, <laughs> a black turtleneck, bangs down to your eyelids, and a pony. A, a, like, and a pony. She's like, I'm just simple. This is my. This is the most simple thing I own. I don't have anything more simple than this. I mean, to be um, honest, this this is definitely the most simplistic thing that this bitch probably does own. <laughs> like, uh, out of all the shit that she likes to throw on on a daily basis and in person, this is I, this is the least I've ever seen her wear. Let's go into Diabetti. Diabetti. Uh, Diabetti looks looks great. She really does. Um, but I don't love. But I'm not like. But but again, mm-hmm. not. For the challenge, um, uh, I I think this one okay I, okay so I think it's cute from like the what do you call them the football player little things up from the, the, sh- from the shoulder the pads up I think this outfit was the it's cute like the hair her makeup is great but from like down I do not like the outfit the like I don't get why she's wearing like camo pants that she put together obviously and then those boots with it. Well, to me, she looks really punk. Like, yeah. I, I feel like I could see that. I could see this this girl at DragCon and know exactly who she is and know yeah. exactly what she does. Um, I, I do think she looks kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I don't I love this. I don't think I just don't love the look, especially for the challenge. Yeah, the, the the fact that her shoulder pads in the challenge were bigger than her shoulder pads on the runway is wild to me. That is wild. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think 
Overall, I think it's a good look, but like I think she could have did something a little different from the on the bottom. I love the arm thing though, like uh, the gloves. I I love the gloves. The with gauntlets. Yeah. yeah, I like those with it. What What, what was your uh, What was your favorite look of the week? Mm, probably, uh, definitely Deja. Hands yeah. down, Deja. Deja. And that and that was her best. That definitely is her was her best look. The whole season. I agree. Yeah. What was your What was your least favorite look of the week? Oh my god, Angeria's. Yeah, I'm I'm at a toss up between Angeria and Lady Camden, but I'm going to give it to Lady Camden because of the simplicity of her dress. Yeah. At least Angeria had a strong perspective. Yeah. She just really she swung hard and missed, yeah. and I feel like Lady Camden swung soft and still missed. Yeah, and I think she you had a mean? story. Like, and I liked how she walked out with that. If she didn't have the headpiece when she walked out, it would have been like, um, no. So I, I yeah. yeah, I think Angeria, even though she's my baby, but. Sorry, girl. You know that that, that is objective journalism. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Press Press Impressions, we do objective journalism, honey. I ha- I hated the outfit. We do not but do favoritism. Um. <laughs> so now we found out that we find out that the uh, bottom three are uh, Georges, um, Jasmine Kennedy, and Diabetti. Mm-hmm. And um, I really love RuPaul's bit where she where she goes um. She goes, uh, Jasmine Kennedy, in the, on the runway, you really stood out, but in the challenge, you <laughs> that really tickled me pink. I was like, that's actually really funny. I did not like her, uh, her, I, I wrote a new one for her for, um, for, for George's. Yeah. I said she should have said, George's, on the runway, you're giving Selena, but tonight we might say bitty bitty bye bye. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm going home. Oh, wait, I'm already home. I'm going home. <laughs> so if you are listen drag race if you need someone to write um you know some of these things for you i'm busy but you know i'm sorry but that i'll make that time was amazing baby yeah <laughs> <laughs> so do we find out that this is uh this is that we find out the bottom two are jasmine mm-hmm. kennedy and george's george's has li- this is george's second time lip syncing right and this is uh, Jasmine Kennedy's third time lip syncing, which tells uh-huh. me if Jasmine Kennedy does not make it to the finale, she will lip sync four times this season. So, OK, do, do you think that it was a double Shantae or do you think that one of the girls won? Um, I do think it was a, amazing. OK, I see why they, they probably let them both stay. But I think it should have been uh, George's probably, you know shimming away you think georgia should you think georgia i think georgia's won oh, the lip no, sync what was it about jasmine saw, that, that was giving you winner winner i thought jasmine was feel, like okay obviously they're both dancing queens but i felt like jasmine was like embodying the song more she wasn't going super high mm-hmm. energy and then georgia's was doing a little too high energy for me for the song but i thought they both did amazing but if there was gonna be a winner i would have chose jasmine Oh my god, we we would have been fighting over here. Me, I, I, I would have chose George's. I would I would I would have sent Jasmine home this episode. Yeah. But again, we she, RuPaul saved them both. All right, so I, I asked all my guests at the end, who do you think is going to win season fourteen of RuPaul's Drag Race? Angeria. Angeria. I do. I see. I see. Plead, plead okay, your case. I see, okay, wait. It's either between Angeria, Willow, or Bosco. Those are my top three. Um, well, but you picked half the. <laughs> you you didn't pick a winner. You picked the top three. Bitch, I want to know who's winning. Okay, I, I either... Okay, I'm just going to say two then. I say Willa or Angeria, but I do... I would love to see Angeria win because she, to me, is all around, baby, and I'm living for her. She's funny. The outfits are... Okay, the outfits were amazing in the beginning. They're slowly starting to get a little <laughs> crunchy for me. Yeah, they're, they're, they're turning crunch. <laughs> they're they are turning, turning crunch. crunch. Uh, Whereas, why, why I think Willow's going to win is because Willow is 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 just every, she is she's not digressed a single okay, time. True. She's just getting better and better and better. Her looks are getting yeah. better. Her act is getting better. She's getting funny. We find now she, now we find out she's a choreographer. She, this bitch can okay. dance. Now she's I like about that. It's like what? It's like what else are we about to find out about this bitch? Like she's going to win. And Willow Pill is going. They are going to. I cannot believe it that Denver is about to have two crowns. That is. No. Okay, Wild. I do. Okay, I. But they're gonna they're gonna be two crowns in Denver, Colorado. I agree with you though because I now that you say it like that, I'm like okay, actually, 
she is like just going up, 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 up. Even though she's been amazing the whole time, it's just steady going up. And she's and we're learning more more right. talent that she has. And actually, okay, okay. I agree with you, Willow. You know, I think New York City has the most crowns. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think. For sure. Me, Monet Exchange, Bianca okay. Del Rio, Sasha Velour, Aquaria. Mm-hmm. Five girls. BB's, BB didn't live in, she lived in Minneapolis at the time. <laughs> no, BB lived in Minneapolis. Five crowns, five girls were, were living in New York City when they won their crown. That is yes. wild. And Atlanta has mm-hmm. two. Does LA have anybody? Violet LA, Chashky. LA has one, two. LA has Raja. Sonique. And Simone. Okay, and Sonique. Three. So LA okay. has three. Raja, and Trixie lived here too. Yeah, but wasn't she somewhere else? No. For no, for all stars, okay, she lived okay. here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there. LA is a close second with with four. <laughs> Atlanta has two with uh, James and Violet. In New York City, we do it, honey. We do <laughs> well, it. Well, wait. Will we count? Will we count? Um, all stars one. She's from uh, Chad, Chad Michael, Michaels, she's from San Diego. Oh, Chad she's Michaels, from San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. That's, that's not California. That's not that's not LA. Yeah. I mean. Okay, 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 okay. She said, baby, New York is a five, right. baby. I'm not we're not adding that in there, love. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, Dahlia, thank you for joining me. Can you please tell the chillins where they can find you? Um, you can find me on all my social medias at Dahlia underscore thin. Work. There it is. Mm-hmm. Um, any shows or anything else coming up where they can check you out? You got music, you do it do you do music? Mm, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I feel like I will dabble in it like uh, later on, but like it's not like my top priority right now. Uh, makeup is more, yeah. you know, my priority. Um, yeah, I have a few Fierce. things coming out later this month. Um, so stay tuned, BB. Um, yeah. All right, the, you can go check out Dahlia Sin. It's D A H. I thought it was D E. Sometimes I get a mix of the other way around. D A H. Yes. Dahlia Sin. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, thank you all so much for joining us, and we will see you all next week where my guest will be RuPaul herself. <laughs> Pardon <laughs> <Probably. laughs> me.